Hi, I'm Guy DiMartino. I'm a Northeast Indiana state planning lawyer. If you ever have any questions about an Indiana state plan or would like to get together for a consultation, go to indianastatemeeting.com and you can set something up online and we can meet in person, we can meet by phone, we can meet by video conference. So I was recently speaking to somebody and the guy was sort of snarky. And, uh, you know, he was forced to come in here by um, a spouse. And he says, well, what do I need a will for anyway? I'm dead. Who cares? I don't want to have to deal with it. I said, well, you know, you don't need a will. But this is what will happen if you don't have a will. If you don't have a will, then your stuff, if you have any stuff by the time that you die, will have to go under the laws of the state of Indiana under its intestacy statute. And that might be fine and that might be uh, just dandy if there's not a bunch of stuff that's out there. And what I mean by stuff is this. So if you were married before and you had kids from a prior marriage, that could cause an issue that you might want to deal with in a will. Likewise, if you have a surviving spouse and you didn't have any kids with your surviving spouse, but you had kids from another marriage, but you want your surviving spouse to be able to have more than a small amount of your stuff, then you're going to want to get a will and put all the information and what your wishes are in the will. Because what might happen is that the kid's going to come in from the prior marriage under the intestacy statute. They might get a whole bunch more than what you wanted your surviving spouse to have. So those are two ways that it can be messy. If you have property in another state, that can get messy. These folks might have to open up more than one probate or depending upon the state, an ancillary probate in that state. If you have a, a lot of accounts out there and a, or business dealings or things along those lines and you do not account for it in your estate planning documents, it just makes it really messy. It can also cause a problem between your children and who is going to be the personal representative and whether who's going to be able to make the choices about what happens or your surviving spouse. So it is always better to allow your wishes to be written so folks know what you want regarding your stuff. But you do not have to. The other issue is this, a will is only part of an estate plan. If you have a whole bunch of property and you want to try to avoid probate, or if you want to set aside funds for folks who might have issues with drugs or issues with money or some type of disability, you might want to consider a trust. And so those, that's out there and that's an option for you. Also. Estate planning has to do what happens during your life. If you get in a car accident, if you become ill, if you start losing your mind, you might want to think about having documents out there like a power of attorney so your loved ones don't have to go and petition a court for a guardianship in order to make decisions uh, based on your property or to do your banking or things along those lines. If you become ill, you want your family members or a family member to make certain decisions regarding your health care. And if that's the case, you might want to have a health care representative document so that folks know what you want. If you come to end of life decisions and at these end of life decisions, uh, you know what you want. You don't want to be uh, just on machines going forward and you would rather just expire naturally. If you might want to have a living will which sets that out so then kids or ex-spouses or uh, your current spouse aren't fighting over what you want for your end-of-life decisions 
So you don't need any of this, but most of the time when lawyers like me get involved, it's because something was missing along the line. And many times this is a dispute that develops and can really tear apart folks' families. So do you need a will? No. Do I recommend it in most cases? Yeah. If you have any questions about an Indiana estate plan, you can always give me a call. I am Guy Martino. Have yourself a great day.